Hey everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. Well, today I actually have one more video before the end of this 2023 year, and it is a Christmas haul video. Didn't think I was gonna get around to doing one like this before the end of the year, because I really didn't have anything to show, but in the last few days or the couple weeks, I have stopped at a few thrift stores and found some actual Christmas items that were on sale, most of them like 50% off or more. And I just thought about what I would want for next year. So I went ahead and picked them up. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I picked up, and these, I don't think any of these are um, vintage, was just like this bag of light bulbs. And I was just thinking I would use these in a lot of crafts that I have in mind to start doing for next year. And, um, you know, I don't care if they're vintage or not. Actually, it's probably better that they're not since I'm going to be putting them in craft stuff. But I had that bag of bulbs. And again, it says $5, but that was half off. And then I have a bunch of boxes of them. Let me show you those. So one here, you can't really see the colors in it. It's like that. And um, like I said, these aren't vintage because they, they have barcodes on the back, but I'm gonna take them out and use them in crafting projects. And I've got all of these for like a dollar and I think she even done some of them for 50 cent. That one, um, just a bunch of, bunch of boxes. A lot of these, a lot bigger ones. And who knows, these may actually work, but I don't really use these bulbs anywhere and just had a whole bunch of them there. I don't really use that, the bigger bulbs on anything in, in my decor as of now. If I do start using them, hey, I may have some replacement bulbs there. But anyhow, I just had a few projects that I had those in mind. So the next item I got that I thought about using for a decor piece, and there I've got two bags like this. They came two in a bag. They're candle holders. So you can see like they would go over the candle and they're pretty like that. But I actually got these because of how small the little greenery pieces, those are perfect to pull off and put in other little projects. You know, finding the smaller greenery pieces sometimes is more difficult than the bigger ones. So that's what I thought when I saw those is they would be perfect for taking apart and using in some of my crafting projects. So like I said, I have actual four of the candle holders and I might actually just use them as candle holders. Who knows? We'll see come next year. The next piece, again, for a crafting project was just this little, it's like a flat back, or they've got it flat, um, little tree. I have a lot of little Santa mugs, so I think I'm going to do something with this inside of one of those little vintage mugs for next year. I have no idea what I paid for it. Was it a price on it? I think she ended up giving it for a quarter or something. This bag is actual ornaments to start with, but I also thought crafting projects, or I like the way it looks when they take a, a vintage mason jar or something like that and fill it up with the light bulbs and just sit around with my other vintage and retro looking Christmas items. So like I said, who knows what it's gonna become of it, but why it was out there and it was on sale, I thought I would get it to start working on next year's projects. The next two things, and these just kind of had that retro vibe to me, were these little, they're little plastic boxes, but they could be made into ornaments. I just, I like the colors and I like the look. They kind of had a vet, uh, retro look to them. So I went ahead and got those. And they were uh, 50 cents for the two of them. And then the next items are these vintage ornaments that someone has already handmade and they're like these little, the egg things. And I just thought they were really cool. Someone took a lot of time crafting these up. And I got a five of those. And the lady was putting them out as I was standing there and I'm like, I'll take those. So she started digging through all of her um, stuff she was putting out and, and find them. And then she found like one extra one and she um, hunted me down in the store to bring it to me. And also, I really like those. 
All right, the next thing, it's, I guess not actually Christmas, but most people use them, is this little vintage bird cardinal statue. And um, just loved him. It'd be perfect just to use all winter and put that out. And I think I got this for like a dollar. Speaking of crafting, I got this block of, it's a dollar fifty, but she gave me half off of that. And it's three pieces of the foam, which is a great deal for this much of the foam. And you can always use this throughout the year in my crafting projects. Next is these vintage ornaments. They're little glass, like the mercury glass, and they have the nativity scene on them. And I mean, some of them, I've, I have four. And I don't know if this was where they were exposed to heat or what made them turn that color. And they're kind of coming apart there. But I loved that blue-green color and the fact that it had the nativity on it. And I have four of those, and I put them in the dough bowl here in my dining room for now. I would love to put them on my tree in my living room next year. The next ornament I found, and I got this one for a dollar, is just a little macaroon or however you pronounce that <laughs> little thing. I could just sit around, maybe even on my gingerbread tree or something. I just thought that was cute. And as you can see, I have my tree back here that is my toy tree. And like it has all of these toys on it that I grew up playing with and stuff. Well, I found this Hallmark ornament of a dollhouse. I don't particularly remember this exact dollhouse for myself, but I did have dollhouses. A lot of times I just made them out of boxes myself, but I thought that was really cute to hang on my toy tree. And speaking of my toy tree, when we're done, I'll take it down and show you the latest ornament that I bought for it that I absolutely love. It's my Miss Beasley doll. I played with her when I was a kid. That was my favorite doll. And I found that Miss Beasley doll and I can't, I just can't stand it. It's so cute. <laughs> and as I said, I wanted to show y'all this one other ornament. Look at my Miss Beasley. She goes perfect with my toy tree. And I added the little dollhouse right in there. She is so cute. I love it. I still have my Miss Beasley doll. And her arm is about ripped off from where I drug her around by the arm so much my mom had to keep sewing it on. But I still have it. And I should get it out and set it under this tree. So next is this. This is not vintage. It looks like the vintage um, tree toppers. Um, but no, this one probably came from Hobby Lobby. It says $29.99, but I think I paid $6 for it. But it has that kind of vintage retro look just to sit around in my decor. And like I say, I'm not a snob when it comes to the real vintage versus reproduction. If I like the way it looks, I'm going to use it regardless. So, and sometimes you can afford the reproduction a lot more than you can afford the actual vintage stuff. But love that. Another item that's just for um, crafting purposes next year is this little tube of little small ornaments. I like this size. They're, they're not as easy to find that size, but I can always paint them and do whatever. And I think I paid a quarter for that tube there. And then we have one of these little light up trees. Y'all know I have a whole collection of these, the real ones, the vintage ones, big ones. And I do have a couple of small ones like this. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if this one's, yep, you can't tell. But it does work. Um, it can't comes on, but it's hard to see it. But and it does have a timer, so I can set that. It can be an ornament, but I will probably sit it down inside of a mug and let it be a little topper there. But I just love that. And I got it for a dollar fifty. Next is this set of plates, and I haven't taken them out of this to see. And I got them for two dollars, but it's the 12 days of Christmas, and they're little, like little tiny butter pat plates I thought these would really be cute to put hangers on the back and actually hang them on a tree maybe even in my living room because I'm using the greens and blues and stuff in there but I thought those were really cute all right this next item not technically Christmas but that's what I'm gonna make it for it's 
one of these copper jello molds. Now, when I used to collect the copper molds that used to go here, like where all of those are, I used to have copper ones. I wanted the ones that were either real copper or they like the copper plated with the tin lining in them. I didn't really like these like this. <laughs> I don't know. This is just kind of copper colored. But the reason I got this is I'm going to paint it to look like a fake cake. And I'll show you one I did playing around. This one, again, it's like that. But I just painted it to look like a fake cake last year. Now, I'm not real satisfied with the way I did the puff paint in the middle with the green. So I think I'm going to go back with some white on that one. But I sit these around on some miniature cake plates in my dough bowl. But um, I'm wanting to paint this one just red and white, maybe even some pink so I can use it at Christmas and at Valentine's. But I mean, I think I could add some embellishments and really make that cute and look very fancy like a real cake. And speaking of cakes, I have a thing for cake plates and holders. And I found this vintage one that just... And, you know, I could still actually use it. It needs cleaning up really bad, but it's probably from the 70s with this color. I think I might have paid $4 for it. The guy just gave me a price for a whole bunch of stuff I had. So I'm thinking if I break it down, it was probably $4. But I love that. And I think I could even maybe put some kind of um, decoupage or, or label or something on it just to jazz it up a little bit more but i like i like decorating with these around in my house you would think i like to bake cakes but i don't i don't like to cook at all <laughs> but you would think so the way i collect cookbooks and the way i like cooking things i can cook y'all don't get me wrong i can cook i just prefer not to moving on okay what's next these little uh, I have two of them. One I've got in my bedroom testing to see if it's actually a timer one. But it has the little Santa on it. And these were $1.50 half off. And, I mean, they come out of this holder. And then you just put the batteries, unscrew this, put the batteries in. And when you put it back together, it comes on. Now, I'm pretty sure these came from a boutique that's like, one mile down the road from the thrift store that I bought these at because they look just like the ones she has. And hers do have, I think it's six hour timers. When you turn them on, they stay on for six hours and then go off. But hers are, and they don't even have the holders. Hers just for the candle itself are 10 to $12 for one. And I got these for half of 150 for one with the holder. So I've got one, like I said, I got one with batteries in it turned on in my bedroom and, and going to see the time of if it goes off on its own or not. All right, this next item, again, it was $3.50, half of that, and it's just the little rolling pin with the design, which would be cute to do some little clay ornaments or salt dough, dough ornaments and roll this over that. Last of my Christmas items is this quilted piece. It's just like a little hanger you put on a wall. I just thought it was really cute. Or I could cut cut it apart and use it for pillow pieces. So I really, really like that. And again, I think it was maybe in the $4 range <laughs> with those other things. All right, that's all of my Christmas items. Let's see, what else? I'll go ahead and show this because it's kind of winter time. And I'll let this be the last piece. So I got this plaque. It hangs on the wall. I love birds. If y'all have been following me for a while, you know, as with the cardinal that I showed earlier, I love bird statues. <laughs> Mostly, I get bluebirds and stuff. So this one, I just love. And the way it's 3D, and of course, it just hangs on the wall there. But I thought this would be very pretty to hang up. And I mean, I could use it year round pretty much but I knew you know come winter time when I take all this Christmas down but I'm not quite ready to go spring and summer stuff that this um would be really pretty and we do have the the blue jays here kind of year round where I'm at so I just need to clean this up 
and I pay $12 for it. Well, that is it for my Christmas <laughs> thrift haul for this year. And like I said, I didn't know that I was gonna get around to doing this because I do have um, my daughter in and her family for the holidays, but they've gone to visit some other family members today. So I had some free time and I thought, why not just get one more video in for you guys for the year? And I wanna thank y'all so much for all the support you've gave me throughout the year. This has been my best year yet on YouTube and I hope great things are gonna happen next year. I've got a lot of projects in mind that I'm wanting to tackle next year. I want to make over my bathroom. It's two years in the making, y'all. Ever since I redone these walls, ceilings, and floors, I tackled the bathroom, I took it apart, and I have not finished it yet. It's just a functional room for me right now. There's no really very minimal decor that's in there. And I'm sorry if y'all hear a snoring. My husband is in the next room snoring his head off. And I've done tried to stop him twice and it's not working. So I'm just gonna let him snore. <laughs> He's taking his afternoon nap. So sorry that it's so loud. <laughs> but anyhow, that's a project I'm gonna work on this um, coming year. And I'm hoping to get around to my bedroom project. All I really need to do in there is repaint and just change my decor out to the shabby chic that I'm wanting to do. Possibly repaint my kitchen cabinets. If I get to that point, I'm not gonna make any promises, but I am really considering changing the color of those back to a kind of jadeite green that I used to have them instead of the black. Now that I have the white walls and everything, I think I wanna go back with the softer color on those. But like I said, that is such a job to paint kitchen cabinets, so we'll see if that if that happens. <laughs> but anyhow, I hope y'all stick around with me through the coming year. Um, got a lot of crafting things that I wanna do. Y'all have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you get to spend it with family and loved ones and a very happy new year. Be safe out there, and I will see y'all in 2024. Bye.